finally got here. Still a beautiful day out though. Really windy. But roads are clear Sunday afternoon. So it's a nice drive. Looks like uh, could be a lot of fun today. Nice and clear. So just probably do 20 or 25 miles, maybe a little less, I don't know. Just go and see how I feel. Pretty cold out. I'm still in one layer of spandex, but as you see, long sleeves today, long pants, but still only one layer of pandex, spandex. Nice and smooth, nice and warm inside the velo. Uh, I don't know how much temperature right now, maybe 50 or so, but another beautiful Virginia day. Virginia in the fall looks really nice. Try and give you a feel of what it's like to drive a velo if you haven't. As you can hear, I took that front chain tube off. It's much quieter in here. So I will have to do some repairs to the cross brace underneath the seat where the chain was rubbing. But once I get that done, shouldn't be any problem. So pretty nice. Coming up to one of the historic landmarks here in Virginia. One of the many that I ride by. It's an old cemetery, Civil War cemetery. I don't know if I've ever gotten video of it before. At least I'm not freezing. Um, and uh, here we go. My first uh, flat in my Duranos. Um, don't know what happened. They, they've done a lot of work on the road. And so I'll have to take it off and look at it to see if it's uh, got a rock or something in it. But they've done something to this road. It looks like it's kind of scraped off. This used to be a really smooth road. And... Uh, hit a couple of holes and stuff, so don't know what has happened here. Don't know if I got a rock or something, so. Good thing is it's not too difficult to change a tire on a Velo, so here we uh, go. Just the other day I saw the uh, uh, somebody putting a, a full-size pump in their Quest. Um, I can now truly see the value of it. Fortunately for me, I have a pretty good little pump I got online. I don't know who makes it, but this good little pump here it got me up to 90 psi so i should be good to go and uh we'll go from there another fun day out and of course you always tend to stop at the uh the bottom of the hill when you get a flat so a lot of fun things happening here we go okay just coming off malvern hill one of the battles of the seven day battle from the civil war nice little road here it's got this 90 right at the bottom of the hill though. I've never been able to take it at full speed. But after that, the road opens up really nice. So we'll see. I'm taking about, about 20 miles an hour. I need to go faster. So I'm losing too much speed. But we'll have lots of fun on this run. So I just got on the Cap to Cap Trail and uh, right at the main intersection where I come off of that road from Malvern Hill. Of course, I didn't want to film it because it was pretty bad. One car was flipped over and half the front end was missing. The other car was still on four wheels, but the whole front end of that end was smashed in too. Debris all over the road right at the intersection where I always cross to get onto the trail. So, I can tell you it was fresh enough that the paramedics and fire department had just gotten there. There was maybe 
maybe three cars in the line of backed up traffic which tells me for no other reason I got a flat on the hill where I did so I could take time out to change it so I didn't have to be part of or see that accident happen so great for the people that were there plenty of paramedics plenty of people there to help they said everyone was okay they were using the jaws of life to get somebody out of the car that was upside down. And, uh, but they said everyone was conscious, everyone was okay. Looks like they might be banged up a little bit, but they're going to make it. But thank God I wasn't there. So thank God for the flat. And uh, the 10 minutes that it took me to change it, or else I'd have probably been very close to what happened or that accident. So there you go. Back uh, to my ride on another beautiful day here in Virginia. A little cold, but beautiful day to ride. Okay, Virginia Capitol Trail just past the Four Mile Creek um, Trailhead. Getting ready to come into Dory Park, which is where I was the other day. Um, like I said, this is a just a wonderful trail. I could probably go pretty fast if I wanted to. The irony is I just came up a pretty good hill, which when approaching the hill, showed a bike going down the hill as if that was a warning. I thought that was kind of ironic that it was showing the wrong thing. Of course, with all the wind we've had, there's lots of debris on the trail. A little more fun to try and dodge with three wheels but still pretty nice so the turn off to Dory Park is right up here somewhere so it should be fun but again beautiful trail coming back up on the last mile or so into the house and a beautiful day looks like I end up about 25 miles in and I tell you what the beauty of a tailwind and a velo has made some of these roll little rollers that I usually have to really fight up or not even really fight I just have to pedal a lot boy it smooths them out so here we are just a nice day it was a beautiful day for a ride I'm glad I did it probably should find a mount for this camera too maybe one day Maybe I'll just get selfie stick and then I can have it on there. Ah, such a beautiful day.